Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again, and today I'm gonna show you how to install Ubuntu Mate on your Raspberry Pi 2 and your Raspberry Pi 3. Now, after we install Ubuntu Mate, I will also walk you through on expanding your file system so you can use the full capacity of your SD card within Ubuntu Mate. Let's get started. First things first, we're gonna need the Ubuntu Mate image. And you can obtain the image by going to ubuntumate.org all the links will be in the description for everything I use here today. We're going to click on download. I'm just going to scroll down here till we see the big Raspberry Pi logo. We're going to scroll down. Now we're going to download it. Now this is a torrent, so you're going to need a torrent application to download it. If you don't know about torrents, Google it. Super simple, super easy. This won't hurt your computer. So I have already downloaded the Ubuntu Mate image. I have placed it in a folder on my desktop. It's easily accessible. Next thing we're gonna need to do is download Win32 Disk Imager. Now this is the application you use to flash the image to your SD card. This is a super safe download, been using it for years. Lots of people use it. There's no malware, there's no spyware, so don't worry, there's no viruses in this. Um, you're gonna need to download this and it's free, just download it, install it, and you'll be set to go. Third, I recommend you download SD card formatter. Now you will not need to use this if you have a fresh SD card. If you, after you flash anything to the SD card using Win32 Disk Imager, the SD card will only read as a 52 megabyte card. So you are going to need to use SD formatter to reformat the card and regain all the space available on your SD card. Now that we have those out of the way, like I said, all the links are in the description for Ubuntu Mate image, SD formatter, and Win32 disk imager. So Ubuntu Mate comes as a zipped file it will be Ubuntu Mate 15.10.3 as of right now, and we want to extract that file. So let's go ahead and extract it to, and I'll fast forward this. It's finished extracting. Now, if you have a problem extracting the Ubuntu Mate image, try to extract it with either WinRAR or 7-Zip. Now, they're free. Just Google them, and you'll be good. But there is one case that I have seen where the image is named .image.gz. So if you open this up and you see that you have a .image.gz, Go ahead and rename, rename, and delete the GZ. Delete the .gz so it looks just like this, .image at the back of your file here. So it has extracted and we have a disk image file now. Now this is the image file that we will flash to the SD card. So right now, in my SD card reader on my computer, in my SD card reader on my computer, I have a 16 gigabyte Samsung Class 10 HC SD card. Now it's a decently fast card. Um, this is one of those orange Samsungs. It will write and read close to 15 megabytes per second. If you use an older black class four card, they usually read and write at five megabytes to seven megabytes. So the experience will be a lot more snappier if you have a high-end fast SD card. So you need to close out of here. And what we're gonna do is open up Win32 Disk Imager. Now this is a super simple interface. This blue folder icon is where we're gonna load the Ubuntu Mate image that we just extracted. So I'm gonna click on this. 
I am going to go to my desktop where I extracted my Ubuntu mate. And we're just going to double click on the image file. Now you want to make sure that the device is the SD card that you have. See, I have two. I have a USB stick and an SD card. You need to make sure that you are flashing to your SD card so you don't mess your USB stick up and delete all the files. So go ahead and find your SD card and just find out what it's named. Mine is SD card and it is drive E. So we want to select drive E and we want to go ahead and write. I'm going to fast forward this for you. And when we're done with this, we're going to go back over to the Raspberry Pi, place the SD card in, and I'll show you Ubuntu Mate. All right, guys, the image successfully flashed to the SD card. Now I'm gonna show you uh, one thing I was talking about with the SD card formatter. After you have installed an image to your SD card, it will be named Pi Boot. Now this is for Ubuntu Mate. We're gonna right click and go to properties. And as you can see, we only have 44 megabytes showing on this card. In order to reclaim the full size of your card, you are going to need to use SD card formatter. Now this is after you're done with the card, after you're done using Ubuntu Mate or any image that you flash. This will bring it back in case you want to use the card for something else or reflash a new image. So now that the writing's done to the SD card, we are going to move to the Raspberry Pi 3, show you how to set up Ubuntu Mate and how to expand the file system. So this is Ubuntu Mate booting for the first time. It will go through a few little steps. It will boot to the desktop setup screen and you'll need to put in your password, your name, set up your Wi-Fi, and all the good stuff like that. Then we can get using Ubuntu Mate operating system on the Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna fast forward this part here. All right, so we're done with the first um, boot and setup. So now we need to extend the file system. If you go to your home folder, right click, properties, you'll see that your free space is very low. Mine is 364 megabytes, yours can vary. It's anywhere from 200 to 600 megabytes. Now I have a 16 gigabyte SD card, so I should be showing at least 10 gigabytes free here. I'm going to close this and we want to expand the SD card. So we are going to open applications, system tools, mate terminal. Now you need to follow this to a T. I will leave it in the description. I will also leave a text file that you can download from my Dropbox. That way it's easier to access, but it's super simple. We are going to type in sudo space fdisk space forward slash dev forward slash mmcblk0. Press enter. Now we're going to type in our password that you use to set up Ubuntu Mate. Press enter. We are now on FDisk, which is the built-in Ubuntu disk utility. Type P, enter, D, enter, 2, enter, N, enter, P, enter, 2, enter. Now press enter twice. Enter, enter. We're going to type W, enter. 
Now we need to reboot the system. So we'll go up here to the top right hand corner to the little power switch and restart the system. We still have one more thing we need to type in. So we'll go back to applications, system tools, mate terminal. And we will type in sudo space resize 2fs space forward slash dev forward slash mmcblk0p2. We will press enter. We will type in our password we used to set up Ubuntu mate. Press enter one more time. And you have a fully expanded SD card. We'll need to reboot one last time. So the power button in the right top hand corner. Restart. Okay, after that reboot, you should have a fully expanded file system. The best way to check that is go to your home folder, right click, properties. Now we're showing free space of 12.3 gigabytes. Like I said, I have a 16 gigabyte SD card, so the rest of the card is being used by the Ubuntu Mate operating system. You're now free to use Ubuntu Mate in whichever way you'd like. In my opinion, this is the best OS for the Raspberry Pi 2 or the Raspberry Pi 3. Now I'm on the Pi 3 and I've noticed a significant gain in performance over the Pi 2. I used this on the Pi 2 for about a year. I love the operating system. It's just great. So if you guys want, go ahead and give it a try and see how you like it. Um, if this helps you out at all, if you could help me out and hit that like button and subscribe, that would be awesome. It really does help me out a bunch and it keeps me going. It makes me want to make more tutorials for you guys. So like I said, this was how to install Ubuntu Mate on your Raspberry Pi 2 or 3 and expand the file system. Appreciate you guys watching and thanks.